It is still an overcast day, but we're gonna try this. Still the same, people wanna know. So we're at 25% or eight days. The best way to solar charge, put it into battery saver mode. So now we're at 25%, 25 days, solar intensity, 0.2, nothing. And my average since I unboxed it, 11.5. And that is because the weather has been like this, overcast, cloudy, snowy, rainy. And just for kicks, we'll uh, keep these other two outside. So we'll do oldest to newest. So this is the Garmin Instinct 2X from 2023. I've had this for over 500 days. This one I've had for about three months. This is the Enduro 3, also solar. And then we have the Instinct 3. So we're at 34%, 34 days, 85% or 78 days. And yep, 25. Maybe the sun will break out. It is 1217, so we have a good, oh, I don't know, five hours of sunlight left. And I'll move these to sunnier areas in about an hour when the sun shifts to the other side of my house. And then right here, this is what I was talking about. See that indicator? And then we have the solar indicator of the Enduro 3. Notice that there's a little one, one little dot. That means it's 10%, which is nothing over even an entire day. You really need at least 50%. And then this one has an indicator as well. This one is also showing one. And this one shows, I can't make out any change. And even when I can see the, the numbers moving, it's still, there's no indicator. And I don't know why Garmin took that away. So what we're testing is here, how fast these are gonna charge and whether or not the battery percent actually changes without a restart.